how to discover your coaching niche. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going over how you can discover what niche you should be kind of leaning towards in your coaching career. And also I'm going to be giving you top 25 coaching niche ideas to help you get started. And if you go and follow me on Instagram right now and DM me, I am giving away my coaching discovery worksheet for free. All you have to do is hop on over to my Instagram, give me a follow and DM me, and I will send you that worksheet right over for free. Now I know at the beginning, it can just be super hard trying to figure out what niche you really want to go into. And when I first started out, I went crazy thinking about my niche and what I should do and what I shouldn't do. And I ended up changing my niche so many times because I felt like I should do something that, you know, people really, really wanted as opposed to really thinking about what I can really offer to people. So in the beginning, I feel like we kind of get those reversed where we think about what people would want as opposed to what we can actually give them and it would be of value. So the first thing that I always say to my clients is what is your area of expertise or your passion, because you can literally turn your passion into money in this day and age now. So it can literally be anything. So what I have my do outside of that worksheet that I have them fill out, I want you to also think about what are your passions? What are you really good at? And then go from there on how you would be able to really provide value and a service to people. And then you can go and build off of that. Now, the thing is, is that a lot of my clients still kind of, I don't want to say struggle, but they, you know, they'll still kind of sit there, be perplexed in a sense about, okay, well, you know, I could do this, I could do that, and I could do this. My biggest thing that I say to all clients, and it's how I figured out my niches in my coaching businesses, was what do you do good with the least amount of effort? So for me, my coaching, I have spiritual coaching, and that is where I started out, and I was able to scale that to over 10K per month. And then after I was able to scale it, I really wanted to start helping people with their coaching business and teach them how now they can scale their coaching business. And now I also have a sales business coaching um. Uh, I said that backwards, a sales coaching business, and I help other coaches be able to build their business to over 10K per month. And those things have come so easily for me because I am really passionate about both of those. And it's something that I'm just really good at. And that's in a sense, helping people. Both of those services, even though it's two different niches, it's still a service. And I am actually serving people to up level their life in one way or another. And it's something that is, I'm just really good at and comes really easy to me. And let me tell you, when I first started out as an online entrepreneur eight years ago, I did not know any of this. I just kind of like started throwing mud at the wall and was just kind of hoping it would stick. And I was like, well, I feel like people are into this, so I should go into that. Oh, I feel people are into this, so I should really go into that. And I had no success because I wasn't confident in myself about what value I can really bring to them because I wasn't technically that great in that area either. Once I started doing things that were easy for me, but also I was good at is where my business and abundance just flowed into my life and my businesses just skyrocketed because I was able to give a lot of value to my clients and my viewers and which in turn obviously helps out your business to keep on growing and you want a business that you can sustain. And if you are basically 
faking it every single day because you are picking a niche that you are not really good at or passionate about, that fire is going to fizzle out very quickly. And I learned that the hard way. So another thing that my clients just kind of beat themselves up about or just really overthought was, well, my passion is, uh, you know, uh, learning how to skateboard. My passion is flying a kite. My passion is sewing. And they really didn't understand that you really can become a coach for almost anything. If you are able to market yourself correctly, there is an audience for everybody. I am able to grow my clients' businesses to over 10K a month, and they have so many different things and services that they're offering. I literally have a, a client that teaches people how to fly a kite correctly. I have a client that teaches people how to ride drones or fly drones, excuse me, fly drones and turn that into a business for them. I have clients that literally have taught people how to sew correctly. So you can really turn any passion into a business if you know how to market yourself correctly. But there is main coaching niches that are out there. So I actually wrote them down so I can be nice and organized for you because I did tell you I am going to give you 25 coaching niche ideas. So possibly this can help you out outside of that free worksheet that I will give you if you reach out to me on Instagram and give me a follow. So I'm going to start with the ones that I offer and those I wrote down because they are really big coaching niches to do. I kind of already explained it in the beginning of the video as well. But the first thing is being a spiritual coach. So that is where I started out and I was offering manifestation services and I still offer, not offering, offer manifestation, self-concept work, law of attraction, law of assumption, and really how to bend the universe to your will to have abundance, love, money, good health, whatever it is that you desire and you want to manifest. The second thing is business. So I help clients and I help my clients learn how to really structure their business so they can scale. So being a business coach, the next thing is a sales coach. So with my clients that get my services, I help them grow and scale their business, but I also teach them how to be good at sales. Because if you don't have sales, you don't have a business, but doing sales and being good at sales is a technique and a skill that has to be learned. So coaching people on sales is a great niche. Next up is a life coach. Now I know we all know that there is life coaches out there, but that is a great, um, you know, coaching niche as well. Just keep in mind that some of these niches that I will be discussing, you may need to get certified for, um, with a life coach, many life coaches that I've seen actually feel like it's kind of been like a 50, 50 at times they are certified and they're not, they're just certified with life experience and they're helping people. But just keep that in mind with some of these, you know, niche recommendations that I am giving you right now and niche ideas. Next one, weight loss relationship coach, podcasting coach. If you know how to set up a podcast, get it going and get it successful, you can offer coaching services for that. Okay. Nutrition, fitness. I know some of these you're like, okay, I know, but those you can actually branch out. So people just think, oh, well, it's fitness. So it's going to be like all about like weight. No, there's literally weight loss. There's literally nutrition. There's literally fitness. So all of those are still sub niches that you can branch out to that are actually more niche specific and niched down that will be even more successful because you are really niching down to your market. So mindset, a mindset coach is amazing. Those are really, really successful as well. That not those that niche is very successful as well. But again, you're going to keep in mind what I said in the beginning. It's what you do the best with the least amount of effort. That is how you are going to be able to grow, scale and sustain your coaching business for the long run. Okay. 
accountability coach, exercise coach, an Instagram coach, a YouTube coach, any type of social media coach, if you have figured out that little secret sauce for even one specific platform, okay? A confidence coach, this is very, very big. I go over this in a lot of my videos and I go into depth with this with my clients. You have to have confidence to be able to really be a coach, period. So confidence building is something that we all need to bring us throughout life in general, not even just in our business. Really throughout life, confidence is what is going to get you through life and succeed. So confidence coach is a really good one. Um, a purpose coach, you know, helping people find their purpose in life. If you do not know us as human beings, we need purpose. We thrive off of having a purpose that actually helps us with our, even our own mental health and throughout our life. An executive coach. Now, executive coaching is like a top tier coaching where you are literally coaching like millionaires, executives, CEOs. But if you are in that field already and you are looking to, you know, branch out into the coaching sector, that is a very high paying, high ticket niche to be in is executive coaching. So an accountability coach, Financial coach, one of my good friends is a financial coach. She is a beast. So financial coach, a family coach, a health coach, which again is completely separate from fitness and weight loss. This is just to help people with their overall health, okay? Wellness coach, which is overall wellness in your entire life, throughout your entire life. A divorce coach, a leadership coach, teaching people how to obviously be a leader in their field and then a career coach, which I don't think I really need to explain. I really hope this video was helpful in your journey in discovering your coaching niche. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and DM me to get that worksheet so you can really narrow down what niche you should really be going into in your upcoming coaching career. My direct link for my Instagram page is in the description down below for your convenience. But if not, definitely use the simple tips that I gave you in this video to help you narrow down your coaching niche and those 25 niche ideas. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time.